And with it being the final weekend, fairgoers are making sure they're snatching up all their favorite goodies. But with attendance lower this year, how have vendors been holding up? News Channel 9's Madison Moore checked in with one of the favorites to find out. They don't just call him the fry guy for nothing. Jim Hasbrook has been frying up just about anything you can think of at the Great New York State Fair for 12 years now. I bought this trailer in 2009 and my wife told me we could never make a go out of it and we have now. He's so popular, he had three locations in 2019 and 30 employees. Frying up everything from pickles to cheese curds to pumpkin pie. But this year is much different. Yeah, we, we're way down, but uh, you can't always have a banner year. And Hasbrook wasn't surprised, even preparing for the lower numbers by downsizing to two locations and reducing his menu. Usually I do a lot of big deep fried sandwiches. We're not this year because of the COVID, so we slowed down on some of them. Our trailers are smaller, so we condense our menu for the trailers. And while this year's fair has felt a little different, one thing that's remained constant since day one is their most popular menu item. That's deep fried peanut butter and jelly. That's what I built the whole business around, the concept, and uh, every year it gets more and more, and people come just for that sandwich. Closing out on the longest state fair on record with his head held high. 18 days is great. Um, I, I do think it's a little long. It, um, I'm really tired, but uh, if they want to do 18, I'll do 18. If they want to do 30, I'll do 30. Coming back year after year for his customers, his fair family, and the fried food. At the fairgrounds, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. And the New York State Fair has extended hours this weekend with the gates closing in just under an hour at midnight. And if you haven't made it out yet, you still have time tomorrow or Monday to do that.